The African continent is known for its wildlife and flora, but here in the Gambia you have to look up to the sky. Watch the trees and you will see the country as one giant open-air aviary. Here there are more than 500 species of birds. Some of them are very rare. To guide us and tell us more about the birds, let's join a professional. His name is Solomon Jallo. He's an ornithologist, a professional guide and famous throughout West Africa. Solomon, describe where we are at the moment. We are in the national park and this national park is called the Tanje Bird Reserve. And behind it you have the Atlantic Ozone where birds come from different continents and breed in an island here. This is why this nature reserve is very important for the Gambians and also for the tourists. Beautiful bird. It's easy to forget the Gambia is a tiny dot on the map of Africa. East to west it measures 480 kilometers and is just 48 kilometers wide. This little jewel of West Africa favors ecological tourism, reconciling the environment, wildlife and local community. Our birds are friendly, you can approach them, you can go very close to them and we have very, very colorful birds and very important birds in the bird watching list. When you come certain time, you see most of the species that you must see in Africa, you see them in the Gambia. Amateurs and professionals flock here to spot, record and photograph the numerous species. It's the perfect place to start in Africa because A, you've got very good guides, B, you've got wonderful habitat, and it's, the birds are basically very easy to see. Now for a change of scenery, we are further south on the river Mandina, paddling to a lodge. The Gambia has decided to develop ecotourism, like they're doing here in Makasutu, a word which means a sacred deep forest. It was voted best eco-lodge in the world by the Sunday Times. Set within lush bush mangroves and the tributary, Makasutu is a privately owned ecotourist reserve. It combines ecotourism and responsible travel, with sustainable economic development in line with the ethics of the two owners, James English and Lawrence Williams. Visiting groups are kept deliberately small to reduce any detrimental impacts on the forest area's fragile ecosystem. Solar power provides the energy needs and locals play a vital role in running the reserve. All of our, the staff that, that work here come from the local villages around here. Um, but also we've been concentrating a lot on, on the forest and trying to make sure that the, the, the environment around here, not just our environment, but the, the forest and the mangroves around us is protected as well. Uh, one of the things I've, we set up is a thing called um, the Balibu Conservation Project, which is an 85 square kilometre area that surrounds Makasutu. Uh, and within that we have a, a new project called Wide Open Walls, um, which is a community-based street art project so for the last three years I've been bringing artists from all over the world to paint in the local communities. Um, we paint on people's houses and the, the plan is to hopefully start bringing tourists into the area where they'll pay to come in to see the art on the walls and that will become, that will be a direct income for the local community. <laughs> Nestled in the African forest at the edge of miles of deserted beach is the Sandele Eco Retreat and its award-winning lodge. The retreat is a winner of the Guardian's Ethical Travel Award, with tourist comfort provided in the most sustainable way possible. But it's not just about those who come to visit. Most of the philosophy is about helping local people. The building is done by local people. We don't use cement. We don't use some in electricity. All we use is solar. Established in 1979, this is Africa's longest-running chimpanzee rehabilitation project and is now home to over 100 chimps. Wild chimps disappeared from the Gambia in the early 1900s, but now four separate social groups can be found on Baboon Islands. I feed them from time to time. I'm not the only guy who feed them, so there are many, two of us or three of us. A small, eco-friendly camp accommodation is located on the banks of the river, overlooking the islands, which has become an important source of revenue. The chimpanzees are our priority, but one of the things we've had problems with is actually funding that. So we do have some funding externally, but we've developed an ecotourism project to help us actually cater for the chimpanzees and do our job in terms of looking after the chimps. 